Welcome to Basketball U. If you're new to Basketball U, make sure you slam dunk that subscribe button. And just to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure you tap that notification bell right after you hit that subscribe button. Basketball U, welcome, welcome. Always good to see you back here for more information. The World Player Series has been doing great because of you, so we want to thank you as we keep sharing the old school players who has made the game what it is today. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and be sure to test someone on the knowledge you've been learning about here on role players or on basketball you in general. Today's player would fit perfectly in today's game as he was lighting up the league from everywhere on the floor, but especially from three. We are talking about a Hall of Famer, NBA champion, six-time NBA All-Star, NBA All-Star Game MVP, and received NBA Rookie of the Year honors. Basketball U family, we present to you, Mitch Richmond. Richmond began his college career playing for the Moberly Area Community College Greyhounds. He scored 1,023 points from 1984 to 1986 before joining the Kansas State Wildcats. One of the most recognizable players in Kansas State history, Mitch Richmond was a two-year letterman for head coach Lon Kruger from 1986 to 88. Mitch Richmond stated that when he got to the college, he met with Coach Kruger and he said, if you want to be great, you can be, but what it takes is you showing up earlier than everyone else and leaving later than everyone else to put in extra work to gain that advantage over who you're competing against. He helped guide the Wildcats to a 45 win, 20 loss record, including a pair of NCAA tournament appearances and a trip to the 1988 NCAA Midwest Regional Final. His 1,327 points are the most by a player in a two-year career. Richmond was drafted fifth overall in the 1988 NBA Draft by the Golden State Warriors. Following two years at Kansas State, where he averaged 20 points per game and two years at Mobile Area Community College. Richmond captured the NBA Rookie of the Year award in the 1988-89 season. After averaging 22 points per game for the Warriors, he was a key part of Don Nelson's fast-paced offense, focusing on Richmond and teammates Tim Hardaway and Chris Mullen, which was dubbed Run TMC. The initials of the players' first names and a play on the name of the popular rap group Run DMC. In addition to the shooting he provided, he complimented Hardaway's passing and fast break skills and Mullen's shooting skills by slashing to the hoop as part of the Warriors' attack. After three years of scoring 22 plus points a game in Golden State, Richmond on November 1st, 1991 was traded along with Les Jepsen to the Sacramento Kings during the 1991-92 season in exchange for the rights to Billy Owens and became arguably the team's first star since the franchise moved to Sacramento in 1985. Staying with the Kings until 1998, Richmond was the team's leading scorer in each of his seven seasons there, averaging no fewer than 21.9 points a game each season. Between 1993 and 1998, Richmond was a fixture on the Western Conference's All-Star team, and he won MVP honors at the All-Star game in Phoenix in 1995. Compared to what you see in scoring today and how Mitch Richmond played a similar style to the scorers you see in today's game, surprisingly he only had 9 40 point games in his career. In the middle of his prime, Richmond was selected to the United States Olympic team. This Olympics weren't just like any other Olympics because he was able to represent his country while being the host country for the Olympic Games. For Richmond, it was an opportunity to get some redemption from the bronze medal finish in 1988. The shock that took place when the Americans got beat really changed a lot for preparation 
going into the Olympics, as it was not only an honor, but mandatory that the best come play for the country. The third team composed of NBA players participated in the 1996 Summer Olympics held in Atlanta. The star quality of the team was impressive, as it featured five members of the original Dream Team. Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, Scottie Pimpin, David Robinson, and John Stockton, plus two other members of the NBA 50 Greatest Players list, Hakeem Olajuwon and Shaquille O'Neal. Lenny Wilkins coached the team. The Americans won another gold medal with an average margin of victory of 31.8 points per game. They captured the gold medal after defeating Yugoslavia 95-69. With Atlanta being home to the Hawks, these games were the first Olympics to take place in a city with an NBA team since the league started, allowing its players to compete in the Olympics. This team was commonly referred to as the Dream Team 3. Richmond was traded by the Kings, along with Otis Thorpe, to the Washington Wizards for Chris Webber in May 1998, a move that keyed the Kings' transformation from perennial doormat to an elite title contender. However, things didn't work out as well for Richmond. In three years with the Wizards, he lost a lot of the shooting touch he displayed as a king, and his days as a regular were numbered after missing half of the 2000-2001 season. Richmond's departure from Washington coincided with the Wizards signing Richmond's perennial rival at the shooting guard position, Michael Jordan. Richmond signed as a free agent with the Los Angeles Lakers, where he played the final year of his career. Playing strictly off the bench, he averaged four points a game. He earned an NBA championship ring with the Lakers in 2002, but played sparingly in the postseason, logging four minutes overall. In game four of the finals, just seconds after making the last basket of his career, Richmond dribbled out the clock to win the title with the Lakers. Richmond deserved the opportunity to be a part of the dynasty team of what was probably one of the greatest assembled teams with Shaq and Kobe leading the way. The names of veterans on the team all come from a successful amount of basketball history in the NBA. There were players like Robert Horry, Brian Shaw, and Rick Fox. Before coming to the NBA, he played for the U.S. national team at the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea, winning the bronze medal. This was the first time the U.S. Olympic team lost in Olympic play, although there is some speculation about the game. The majority of the league felt it wasn't a good look for American basketball, and they could no longer have the title as the best in the world. He became a member of the team again in 1996. Mitch Richmond was elected to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame for 2014 and formally entered the hall on August 8th. Richmond was also inducted into the Bay Area Sports Hall of Fame in San Francisco, California in 2016. In 976 NBA games, Mitch Richmond averaged 21 points per game, 3.9 rebounds, and 3.5 assists. His jersey number two was retired in his honor by the Sacramento Kings, for whom he played seven seasons with. Mitch Richmond credits his success to his coaches in college and NBA, and his teammates that he came up with during the beginning of his career in the NBA. Most players are focused on their individual accomplishments and what they did for their legacy but Mitch Richmond showed his gratitude to those who helped make him the player he was. And in this is a valuable lesson in understanding that sometimes the role of others can help create a great player and person, and in fact, someone who will carry on the ability to teach and be a leader and a role model from their experiences. This is Basketball You. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow all of our social medias right there in the description to keep yourself up to date as this channel will have a lot of basketball, a lot of players, and a lot of training, and more information on how to play the game of basketball. Remember, someone's always working. Are you? 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 you.